Hey friends, so for today's video, I wanted to show you a new feature in Trello that you can probably um, add yourself. I will show you where to do it in a minute, but there's a new rich text editor in Trello and you can enable it in your labs, but basically you're probably used to using Markdown in your comments and uh, descriptions and different areas in your board, but you now have access to this rich text formatter and it, it it's kind of similar to maybe other editors you've seen where instead of having to remember the markdown for things you can just select if you want to write in a heading format um, you can bold the text with just a few clicks you can um, italicize it you can uh, do strike through you can put it in code Let's see do, do, do. Um, yeah and then adding bullets and it's all like right there. So those of you who are familiar with Markdown format, this doesn't necessarily change the functionality of the text editor because you could do all of these things before. You would just have to understand the Markdown for it. So you'd have to know that to do this, you probably need to do one and then text. Uh, you might have to know that bold is like, you know, two stars and then blah, 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 blah. Uh, or maybe it's the one. I, yeah, no, it's two. So it's pretty cool. Great functionality. Um, it doesn't necessarily add anything new. The difference is you don't have to remember those things. If you ever get frustrated by like, oh, I can't remember what is a code um, block or what is, how do I do a quote? I, it's all right there. It's right in your nav here. So you don't have to actually remember those options. And I actually was meeting with someone recently who was struggling with what's the syntax for that? And if you're not familiar with it, it can be a lot to keep track of. And it's kind of messy and frustrating if all of your text in a Trello card is just the same sort of format. So just a really cool feature here. I'm super excited to play around with it. If you want to enable it, you'll want to head over to go to your profile, visibility, and I don't know if it's like a public URL or what, but I think you just need to put like labs at the end of it, just like this. Yeah. And when you do that, you'll be able to see any new features in Trello that are available for testing. So this one is the WYSIWYG editor, which stands for what you see is what you get. Um, I keep calling it rich text, but uh, WYSIWYG is probably the better word for it, but you can just toggle it on or off. So if you see it and you're like, oh, I actually hate this. I'd rather go back to Markdown. All you have to do is just toggle it back off there. So um, super easy to get rolling with, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. I'm excited to see how people use it, if they find it helpful. And one other thing you can do if you've noticed when you've turned it on, they've turned it